Russia vies with Saudi Arabia as the world's largest producer and exporter of oil. Money from oil is the key to the Russian economy and the Russian political system. It's really oil that keeps the Russian engine running. But what if that engine were ever to slow down? What if the revenues from oil were to slacken or even to decline? How would the Russian oil industry respond? How would the political and economic system adapt? And that's what my new book is all about. Wheel of Fortune was 10 years in the making. It tells the story of Russian oil, first as the Soviet Union collapsed, and then as it gradually stabilized, and then recovery began at the end of the 90s and the early 2000s. It's a story of greed and violence, but also courage and resourcefulness as Russia's prime asset goes up for grabs. But in the last decade, a strong central government has re-emerged under Vladimir Putin, and much of the oil industry has been recaptured by the state. The state today taxes away most of the profits from the oil industry, and it uses those profits to finance subsidies and pensions and state programs, military, weapons industry, leaving the oil industry without the capital or the incentives to modernize and keep growing. So why does the Russian oil industry face a challenge ahead? On the face of it, they've fully recovered from the collapse of the 1990s. A whole generation of new oil companies has sprung up, and they've brought production back to very nearly the Soviet level. So what's the problem? Most of the oil that Russia produces today was inherited from the Soviet Union. And the problem is that that legacy is running down. So the next generation of Russian oil is simply going to cost more, and that's going to produce less revenue for the state to support the present system. And that means there's going to be a challenge ahead. <laughs>